Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. The last time I posted was like two months ago. Like, it's been a while. And I recently asked you guys what my next upload should be. So I was like, should I do a GFX tutorial or a flash effect tutorial? And then I finally like learned how to add velocity to edits on CapCut. So I decided to show you that as my next upload. And trust me, like it's super quick and easy. All it takes is one button. And you can literally just use that and it automatically adds the velocity. But I'm going to show you guys how to like adjust it to match the sound and everything. But before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe if you like my content. Because I'll be posting more tutorials like this and other videos as such. And it really helps support my channel. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So first things first, you obviously add in your recorded clip of your avatar dancing or whatever. And then you cut off the parts that you don't want in the edit. And then just add the sound. So once you've added the song or the audio to the edit, you just make the clip the same like the length of the video as much as the sound so then it fits in and then we can start editing from there okay so from there you can change the sizing of the video for your edit based on your liking and to do that you just click format beside filters you can click one of the resolutions i clicked 916 because i was gonna have it like a um, TikTok video. so then you can zoom in and adjust it to your liking and then from there we can actually like Add the velocity okay so from here we're gonna add the actual velocity to the edit and you want to clip the part where you want the velocity part like the beats to start so you clip it and you click style and then once you click style you click auto velocity which is basically self-explanatory it adds the velocity automatically and then you can start adjusting it based on the beats of the song this may take a while to load but trust me it's worth the wait. So this is the exciting parts. You can see the velocity is already added, but it might be offbeat based on the audio you're using. But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust it, even though it's really easy. All you have to do is just split the beats of this um, clip based on the song, and you can make it faster or slower going to speed and normal. And you can make it faster or slower based on the beats of the song. I made mine slower, and it's matched the beat of the song better. It's different for all of us, like if your velocity that was added to the clip already matches your song, then you're all good to go. But if it doesn't, just keep splitting the parts of the clip and then make it slower or faster. Just adjust it based on your liking and just do that to all of the beats of the clip and then you'll literally be done. So this is what my clips look like after I split the beats and I adjusted it to be slower or faster. But after this, I'm just adding like a reverse and then a rainbow hue like this. But you don't have to add this to your edit. I'm just doing that because I wanted a reverse and a rainbow hue for this edit that I'm doing here. But if you want to stay, you can learn how to add a reverse and rainbow hue. It's really easy. But from there, you just save the video and then you could reverse it after. After you finish saving the video, just click the plus sign again and add the video and then you could delete the extra parts. And also make sure you turn the volume all the way down because the audio that's on the bottom and the audio from the one the video you just added is going to be too loud together. And then for the reverse, you go to the very end of the video and then you split it to the part where you want it to reverse. So you could delete the extra parts so you just have the video of the beginning to the end to where you want the reverse to start. So now to add the reverse, you click the clip and you just scroll all the way to the right and it should just say reverse right there. And it'll take a while but it'll just reverse it for you. So now once the clip is reversed, you just split the second part of the video where the sound ends and just clip it there and delete the extra part because you don't need any of that. So now you're done with the reverse part, but now I'm gonna show you how to add the rainbow hue to the reversed clip. So here's the rainbow hue overlay. Just screen record it and crop it on the overlay option on CapCut and then I'll show you what to do from there. So now that you have the overlay of the rainbow hue, just zoom it in to fit the screen and split off the part where the video ends because you don't need the extra part. So click the overlay clip and splice and you'll see these different options. Click overlay and then adjust 
the dot to like 66 and then the clip will look like that. And of course to not make it choppy from the original clip to the rainbow hue, click the overlay animation in and then fade in. And that's all you have to do to add the velocity, the reverse, and the rainbow hue. It's all super easy and I hope you find this helpful. And that's all for this tutorial, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to support my channel. I love you all so, so much. Bye!